Good evening all. My name is Suresh. I am from Vijayawada. I am a graduate from Lakreddy Balred College of Engineering in 2019. From four years, I am in the different sectors of research from the different ideas regarding to startups in mechanical and agriculture, etc. And this is very short term for my presentation. These are the one of my Four technologies that is not available in India. These are very rare technologies. And first thing is medicine, 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 medicine technology. In recent years, we seen the COVID-19. There is no medicine for this virus. Prevention or cure. But there is a two technologies in this world to make the medicine from the directly from the virus or bacteria or fungus or everything every pathogen the one thing is vaccination in allopathy that is only for prevention that takes very huge time for manufacturing and field trials or human trials but there is another option in uh, to make the medicine from it, virus there is a no sort technology that is using the homeopathy pharmacopoeia in India, this type of technology research centers are very rare. I am working as a two years of aquaculture technical consultant and I face a uh, very four, four problems in aquaculture. That is, one is white spot syndrome virus. For this virus, many countries are showing, uh, <coughs> many countries are spending their time nearly uh, five to ten years, but they didn't. Uh, made a medicine for it or didn't uh, made a perfect track for prevention also. But after my two years of research in my field trials, I use uh, many herbal extracts or phytochemicals, uh, some of the chemicals and antibiotics also. But antibiotics are restricted in aquaculture. Uh, but there is no results I, got, I didn't get for prevention and control. But I find a way there is a sure shot pre prevention for it. That is also technology. But uh, in allopathy vaccinations, that is only for uh, prevention. But no source are, it can use prevention and cure. Because it can made from a, directly from virus or directly from virus strains. It deactivates the uh, pathogen effect by uh, distillation or succussion or processing in nanoform. They didn't uh, show any harmful effect on the living organism which are taken by the humans or plants or uh, fishes or everything. And, and one of my scientists, he is from the Bombay. He was 20 years of experience in dealing with many types of viruses, bacteria and etc. pathogens. He was uh, made a, he was one of the he was the first scientist to make the corona nozzle in at the end of second pan second uh, second covid data he is the only one scientist in india he make the medicine for covid 19 the medicine was 66% efficient it can be prevent and it can cure within a days without any side effects without any harsh symptom symptoms it can be directly taken by the mouth which can simply mix in water and taken by the mouth and he can he can also make a medicine for uh, HIV nozzle, which is in already in the homeopathy pharm pharmacopoeia, which is very effective for HIV, HIV virus and uh, HIV virus. And I am going to uh, this scientist was helping me for the research to make the uh, medicine for white spot syndrome virus in aquaculture and some of the bacterial diseases in aquaculture, vibrio, vibrio diseases. 
and some of the viral disease in plants also like uh, mosaic virus ring spot virus in papaya and chili chili viruses in chili farms there is no perfect prevention and treatment for there is no perfect and prevention treatment for these viruses in agricultural or agriculture or uh, poultry also there is a bad flow in poultry poultry farming there is no prevent to um, many vac many farm uh, technical sir suggesting vaccines but there is no vaccine can prevent that bad flu disease but homeopathy medicines are prevent that bad flu medicine very effectively in every in an, in our in our world the homeopathy medicines can prevent the any viral diseases uh, the only medicine we have the homeopathy pharmacopoeia the no sorts are which can the no sorts we can manufacture it can be perfectly prevent and cure the disease without any harsh symptoms and second thing is this is the modern technology which is not available in many countries which i have an idea why don't we use a uh, four to four poles or uh, four sides of a motor uh, after searching in a google i found i found that company this is the one of the uh, only one company in the world which is he got a best invention award from us from government for this making virus you can see a chart at the left side the motor produces high torque and power densities in all all over the motors is compared to agile technologies and radial technologies the uh, coming to india there is a four companies sir, which are making agile te- agile motor technologies for evs electric vehicles but most of the companies are making radial axle, radial induction motors or synchronous motors etc but this motor motor gives high torque and power density within low weight less weight this is the video of testing but uh, and coming to the engine technology this is a revolutionary engine technology is uh, which is which was invented by rasselor from us us uh, suppose we, we can, can we take the conventional engine technologies there is a one power stroke in two revolutions of crankshaft which but this technology gives 16 power strokes in one revolution of crankshaft in uh, you can see the image the big engine was 1 ton 133 kg it gives 450 horse power but the left side engine was 68 kg it gives it gives 800 horse power within without a turbo charges if i use a turbo charges it can be gives up to 900 950 horse power and i am modifying this technology without using petrol and diesel i am using a castor oil to burn the castor oil to generate the power Uh, i can get the more mileage compared to petrol and diesel 25 to 30% more mileage compared to diesel petrol and diesel the invention of uh, fuel injection system was uh, invented by uh, jahid basa from andhra pradesh i am taking help from help from him he was the he got the first prize in nasa's com idea competition in 2000 2005 and this is the one of the revolutionary technologies which is not available in many countries in the world the only country switzerland and i think new zealand has only um, country which have this technologies this is called nano flow cell technology without using a electric battery without using a lithium ion batteries or uh, lithium phosphate batteries uh, without using any batteries we can run a electric vehicle we can run a power plant because batteries are a power saving de- power saving devices we can use the power from any any time we want but this technology from salt water we can generate the electricity wherever which whichever temperatures without any uh, side effects harsh chemicals or uh, without any toxicity without any flammables and it can be recyclable also and completely eco uh, that is the only company in the world which can make the electricity from salt water the they make uh, positive and negative electro electrolyte liquids bio ion electrolyte liquids they can transfer to the nano flow cell they can generate the electricity there is a membranes in the middle of the flow cell which, which was made by the nano materials 
which we, which was a highly precious uh, precious materials that can generate generate electricity the nano flow cell efficiency was 90% efficient and it was um, and the mileage of this car is 1000 greater this is a sports car the mileage of the car is 1000 kilometers for 200 200 two tanks totally 400 liters of two electrolyte two electrolyte liquids it can go through the 1000 kilometers range in this world many hydrogen hydrogen technology or lithium ion technology cannot uh, reach that reach that mileage in present scenario uh, lithium ion batteries are very uh, as possible as very very dangerous uh, it can misfires in some of the recent uh, days also you know in before 4 to 8 the major company from I think uh, Mahindra or Tata, some of the companies, EV car was misfired in Bangalore. So some of the problem, but this uh, this technology has uh, doesn't allow any fire, and it is, it is completely eco-friendly. You can see the video. I have many videos for every technology, but there is no time. Bro, five minutes. Thank you. Any queries? We don't have time for that. We yeah. used up all your time. Thank you. Now we have another start uh, idea pitch. Uh, echo by Mr. Jeevan sir. Starting our story with our story. Let us start the session with a story. Okay, this story goes like this. Uh, there is a guy named uh, Teja. Uh, Teja uh, is writing his resume uh, one day. While he was writing his resume, he was filling out his details, his name, his details, and everything. And there comes a section called projects. And oh, is gone. Everything is gone. His mind goes blank. Uh, why did that happen? Because Teja couldn't find any projects that are relevant or uh, he thinks strong enough to put in his resume. And from uh, this is not only Teja who faces this problem. It's me, it's my friends and everyone I think in this room has faced a uh, similar kind of situation. Uh, from this hardship comes the uh, innovative idea of ECHO. And ECHO. Uh, and I, our aim at ECHO, like, uh, firstly let's say like who are we? Like we are currently a group of three members and uh, with the collective support of our class we are working on software uh, that would help students to connect with the industry very easily and uh, coming to our aim uh, we want to break the conventional barrier of learning things from the book uh, this bookish learning and theoretical learning and uh, make it into a more practical approach and uh, we want to make it easier and friendlier as well and coming to the solution what we propose here is that uh, we bridge the gap between the students and the industry uh, we are like a freelancing site which connects the students with the uh, projects and rewarding them some rewards as well. Uh, and uh, coming to how our company works, and this is pretty basic simple actually. We have someone called clients and users. And clients basically uh, give us projects. Like clients let us say they are companies or maybe some individuals uh, who are working on some kind of project. Uh, these are clients, they give us some projects and we showcase them on our platform. And this platform uh, is accessible to the students uh, who are our users. And these students uh, will get to work on the project and they do their submissions. Like uh, many students work on the same project. They will be submitting this. And we take this pool of submissions and uh, give it to the client. And client can pick uh, what the thing like he needs, like uh, which project suits him the most, like which student did he impress the most. And uh, rewards will be given uh, to him. 
and other students for participating will be given uh, them something called as tokens or contribution tokens uh, which we'll be talking later and coming to our business model we don't uh, charge much like we are uh, charging only three ways first thing is called the platform charge for the clients uh, in which the client had to pay some uh, money a minimal charge actually to uh, keep the project on the platform and the second thing is called uh, student withdrawal charge which is uh, generally when the student withdraws some money uh, from their account in their account uh, from echo account to his account and the third one uh, it is called a membership it is actually for the clients in order like uh, this membership offers mainly two benefits first thing is that pool filtering and the second thing it's called uh, anonymity and we give us uh, clients anonymity so that uh, they can be unknown as well and uh, coming to why clients need to choose us first thing is we are like let us say you're a company and you want uh, you're a startup let us say and you want to uh, choose us why choose us is here because you can hire interns from our site you can like uh, pick some student like who is more uh, in rhythm with you and you can take them as interns or to your, as your apprenticeship and make him work and second thing is like if you're a startup and most of the users in our platform are students so as a student community is the next generation right like the next generation workers are students currently so uh, if you are a startup and you are currently presenting it on our platform students get to know about your company right they research about your company so you get a broader exposure and a broader spectrum of students like who are interested in your company and the third thing we provide is a cost effective solutions like we can get products at a cheaper price right if you are higher and uh, professional it can cost you more and students nowadays can do everything so it would be a cheaper price and the uh, fourth advantage is that anonymity which is by choice and uh, coming to our next slide who are our competitors and i consider myself as a uh, this company as a freelance uh, kind of thing so if we look at current freelance uh, work space or the market uh, we have only three sites first thing fiverr second thing is upwork and the third thing is onset i guess and everything like almost these three companies hold like 50% of the market share this 50% market share like it is a pretty competitive market right now so uh, in this competitive market we don't think like we are uh, low class or something we are we want to carve our unique space cause like uh, we have something that they don't have okay. and uh, if you look at uh, current age of the uh, freelancers working in the freelance space uh, it is basically most of like 80% of the people owns a uh, undergraduate or a postgraduate degree now like these 20% of the people who don't own a degree or like they uh, let me say that as like they are studying this 20 percent uh why do we need uh the uh, like why is the number so low if we look into it it is because that as a undergrad student or like as a student who is studying still studying it is very hard to find your first job in freelancing sector so like echo solves this problem and uh how are we different from our uh, competitors first thing is that uh our target audience are completely different like any freelance site uh work like in, anyone can join us like but we only uh, generally if you are a company you would hire only a professional right so but here at echo we don't uh, ha- like we don't allow everybody it is most basically for the students we are like a community of students working together on a project and second thing is empowerment to choice like if you are a company and you have given a me a project you get a pool of student not like a single project if you are uh, given in a upwork or something you get 1% to work on your project but in here like you get a pool of students and you get a choice to pick off from which one like uh, the best you think that suits you and uh, third thing is anonymity empowered and users and clients as well both of them are anonymity empowered that is like clients they can be anonymous or they want to be seen they can be and companies uh, through membership can do the same and uh, the fourth thing is uh, equality and inclusivity like at echo like we don't care about uh, your background or anything like uh, if you have any certifications or anything if you are a novice or a experienced learner you come to echo you can do the same project the only thing that matters is the output so we don't care about your certificates or anything and uh, the last thing it is for the users it helps you in building your profile simultaneously and what extra features do we offer first thing is that your echo profile will be linked in uh, linked to your github and linkedin profiles that means like if you complete a project in here it can be directly uh, uh, injected into your github uh, repositories and as well as your linkedin profile linkedin profile also gets something uh, like i did this project in something this thing and everything like that and second thing is that resumes 
your echo profile will be your resume you can share it directly and third thing is that uh, rabble it's a mini app actually uh, what it does it like it curates into learning some new tech things and everything it's like let us say it's like a news or something but it is a offline app and the fourth thing is that ha- hackathons and communities we organize something called hackathons and communities uh, which help students encourage like which encourage students to do more projects and uh, engage them more into the platform and the fifth and the final and the most important thing is that consumable tokens that which will be offering for the students who did their projects uh, but couldn't get any rewards these tokens are consumable that means that they can redeem it for something uh, students will be craving for like canva pro subscription or spotify premium or maybe chat gpt pro or something like that like uh, what students actually need this is it uh, if you have any questions i'm ready to answer Uh, it is already a competitive market space right i know but uh, as i said like we offer something called uh, something diverse called a uh, pool of students you know like uh, if you go to fiverr and you uh, pro, uh, like you just post a project and you will be seeing the bids right and uh, if you see the bid if you like the bid you give it to the guy who bid at least and uh, like your needs uh, but you don't uh, get like a pool of students to work on a project right in here what uh, happens is if you give a project on our platform everyone will be submitting their response and the one that matches your rhythm you can just reward them like you don't need to waste your money all right like uh, it is a different thing like our target audience are firstly different as a client i would like to have a professional working on my project rather than a student oh uh, yes uh, yes i agree that uh, like if you are a company they, uh, you would think that but the thing is like uh, you get diversity first of all and they have creativity and i know professional they are professionals who don't know like ai or something but a student who knows ai can do much better right this is an ai world and they can do more better things and projects right like i know as a company uh, it is hard to choose between fiverr and a uh, thing like they choose fiverr over this but if you are a startup or like uh, and fiverr charges you a little bit more as well like uh, they don't uh, skill professional don't do it like for a cheaper price right we we offer a smaller price and smaller projects what's the prime criteria because in fire we have certain prime criteria uh, yeah yeah here projects. we also have a, a certain uh, time criteria as well like uh, we projects uh, let us say you are a project and you want it to be done in 10 days we submit the project and it will be displayed on uh, the platform uh, and the reward will be mentioned here the interested students will be submitting the submissions like you will get a pool of students like let us say 10 members applied you get the 10 uh, submissions and i'll show it to you you get to pick the one like uh, after 10 days you get to pick the one that uh, suits you that simple as that do you reward everyone yeah, yes 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 uh, the company rewards only the one uh, that he likes but every submission is rewarded by tokens contribution tokens uh, as i said like they can be redeemed for something like canva pro or something the goodies any charging anything for the students uh, sir uh, only we have withdrawal charges like uh, 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 this money what they earned it will it will be in echo echo account and after certain time uh, when they withdraw uh, i'll be charging them second uh, question i have is uh, like thinking that i am in uh, person with the project so my challenge is i the uh, object of me posting a job or the work in the portal is i need something uh, productive to come out uh, from the student yes yeah, so sure. quality of the work is very important so that is my first object so i give it they are saying that student will be able to give me that uh, uh, right quality yes I agree with that. but say like hundreds of students have done the same work now the my challenge is i have to review hundreds of work okay uh, so yes sir any, yes sir yes sir we have a solution called uh, how do we come over pulling like uh, let us say project got like so many submissions and uh, this over pulling uh, solution is uh, based on something called like let us say we take five uh, factors like three for uh, coding things like the back end things and three for uh, the something called front end things the first challenge is the proof of work like uh, whenever i want let uh, let us say i am a student and i want to do a, a project your project let us say and if i want to enter the project i'll be taking a quiz a little quiz like that matches the project description and everything like the language is needed or the software is needed or the skill set required that they'll play a quiz and they'll play a quiz like it won't take much time like 3 minutes let us say 
uh, it happens and uh, we will sort like the unnecessary bots and everyone who doesn't know the software. First thing is gone. And second thing is a code checker. Let us say uh, I'm a backend developer. Let us say uh, your project is also about backend and uh, I am able to enter your project and I wrote the code. And after I write the code, the code will be checked and uh, it's time complexity, space complexity and how good the code, how optimized the code is, it will be analyzed. Accordingly, we'll rank, we'll sort them. That is called what uh, we offer for the premium uh, customers, filtering, pool filtering. That is the feature we have. And the last one, in case your, uh, even though like the code is, uh, uh, even though optimized, but similar. What we do in that situation, we do readability checking. What readability checking is does is that uh, if you use comments correctly, it will check for uh, comments that describes what the function does. Like someone who is a geek will know about it. Like readability of a code. So we'll uh, know about the readability of a code and we will able to filter them easily. And uh, coming to something creative like a website or something that is visible, front end, that is visible to us, we'll do it uh, using our algorithm, something called creative survey. Uh, what uh, creative survey does is that, let us say I already got five submissions and now uh, six one is coming. Now six one will be asked uh, which uh, rate the following five, like already submitted five according to your scale. They will be rated accordingly and an algorithm will be applied. For every other submission it does, like they need to do a survey, creative survey. And that survey will sort it. Like I, I don't think I need to explain the algorithm as well right now, but that's that. that's it. And uh, testing tools as well, like Selenium does it, like uh, whether the code works or not, everything, testing tools, we test it. That's simple. All this should be automated? Yes, mostly. The challenge lies there. Challenge, yeah, I, I don't think this is a challenge, but you know like Zapier, it do, does it easily. So we are only charging from uh, the client? Yes, from the yeah, yeah, so business model is pretty bad, I know, but... Yes. Thank you. Thank you.